Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video we're going to be talking about how to build confidence in 2022. So if this is the year that you want to start working on yourself, you want to build your self-esteem, your confidence in all areas of your life, then watch this video and follow the tips. You can implement these tips from today and let me know how you get on in the comments, what you think of these tips. If you've got any other extra tips to share, pop them in the comments and help other people as well. Um, and also if you are new to my channel, then don't forget to click the subscribe button just below the video. And obviously if you enjoy it, do give the video a like. We're gonna get straight into the video and start talking about my top tips for 2022 and how to build confidence. As some of you guys may know from my previous videos, um, or if you haven't seen it and you're new here, I am nearly qualified as a life coach, which is really, really exciting. So I want to help you guys with your mental health and work on yourselves, as well as obviously my fitness and nutrition as well, because I'm also a fitness and nutrition coach, but I want to help you build your confidence in yourself other than just you know working on your diet and your body. It's really, really important to build that mental health as well as obviously looking after yourself in a healthy way. So these tips I follow myself, um, I find them really, really useful. I have put a little, um, a timestamp in the comments below so you can click along for each um, you know tip that I've got in this video and also if you want to screenshot it as well and keep it on your phone. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. So the first tip we're gonna be talking about is affirmations. Now, the problem with affirmations is a lot of them don't work. Now, you'll probably see in these advice books and um, you've probably seen on Instagram, social media, and people say, just say, I love you every day. Just say, I am beautiful. Just say, I'm a millionaire and it will happen. Unfortunately, it actually doesn't work like that because what happens is because you're not actually believing that, you can't manifest it into your life, you can't actually make it happen because you're telling yourself, I'm a millionaire, when you're living in you know, a house with your parents, your brain just goes, that's not true, that's a load of rubbish, and it can't comprehend that fact. So what you need to do is have more realistic affirmations. So do have affirmations, but they need to be realistic. Don't go around saying, oh, you know, I'm really slim when you're actually overweight because your brain will go, well, you're not slim. That doesn't make logical sense. So what you could start saying if it was to do with your body is something like, I am healthy and I eat good food because that is something that you can actually implement and change from today. If you're overweight, you can't just automatically be slim. And if it's to do with making money and you're living with your parents at the moment, saying walking around saying, I'm a millionaire, um, I make loads of money, is not gonna happen because you're not currently doing that. So what you could say is, I attract things into my life that help me make money, or I am going to work really hard, or I am working really hard to build my future. Things like that are really, really important. So implementing that into your life is gonna help you build more confidence and more belief in your future as well. So, and a really good example, because I'm not, you know, obviously I don't know if you guys are watching this wanting to build confidence in your image or just in your life, but I imagine that a lot of you are wanting to build confidence in your image. So saying things like, I am healthy and I am happy, because that is something that is not also just to do with, sorry about the, um, I just noticed the sun is like coming in on the side of me, so sorry about that. Yeah, so saying things like, I am you know, beautiful is quite, um, it can be quite superficial because it is just about your looks, but saying I'm happy and I'm healthy is something that is, something you can take on forever. You know, you can be healthy for the rest of your life. You can be healthy on the inside forever. Um, we're not always gonna look young and beautiful. So affirming that isn't really realistic. So basically start implementing affirmations into your daily routine. Maybe when you're brushing your teeth, maybe when you're doing some cooking, but just make sure that they are realistic and not too far-fetched. And my next tip is to start liking things about yourself that aren't to do with your appearance. So what I want you to do is in your journal or on your phone is to start writing down things that people say about you that they really like that aren't to do with your appearance. So it might be, you're so organised or you're always on time for things, it's really nice. Or maybe someone says, you're such a reliable friend, you never let me down. Things like that, write those things down and 
I want you to make a list of those and I want you to read them every morning and every evening. So it's, it's not actually that hard work. All you have to do is open your journal, write your affirmations, read this list of things that people like about you that aren't to do with your appearance. Maybe in your job at work, people say, you're so good at what you do at work, like you're really, really skilled in this area. Write that down, you know. These are things that people really, really like about you as a person that is way more important than what you look like. Um, maybe you're a really generous person or you're really caring and people think, say, you're so thoughtful, whatever your name is. Um, you're so thoughtful, Chloe, like it's, it's such a nice trait about you. Write that down because that is so much better than focusing on your appearance. And then, like I said, I want you to read those things when you wake up in the morning and before you go to bed. And my next tip to build confidence in 2022 is having some time away from social media. So social media is great and it can be really, really inspirational and it can be really motivational, but it also can really, really dent your confidence. And that is not just in your looks, but also in your life, because you see people who are doing really, really well in their business, earning loads of money. Maybe they've got a relationship like that you really want. Maybe they live in a house that you want. All these things that make you compare yourself to them, because that's what we naturally do as humans. We compare ourselves. And then you think, well, I haven't got that. I'm not as good as that. And it just makes you feel shit about yourself. So stop going social media as much. Have a social media detox before you go to bed because you don't want to be filling your mind with that stuff before you go to sleep. Don't also go on it when you wake up in the morning. Get up, out of bed, brush your teeth, do some meditation, read a book. Do not go on social media first thing in the morning because it can really affect your confidence and how you feel for the rest of the day. There's a lot of negativity on social media now as well over the last two years because everything that's been going on in the world so try and stay away from that and if you can do a social media detox as well it could be a week it could be two weeks however long you want it could be a day just delete all the apps off your phone don't delete your account just delete the apps and just have a day away from it or go out for the day with a friend and leave the phone at home these things are so important and i promise they will make you feel more confident i know it sounds crazy but social media can really really not make you feel confident so staying off it is is really really good my neighbor has just put their washing machine on and it's high spinning in the background so if you can hear a grumbling right now i'm really really sorry <laughs> so leading on nicely from that tip is another tip is to stop comparing yourself to others so this is in general life as well as social media so stop comparing yourself to your friend to your colleague at work to someone I don't know, that you've just met, stop comparing yourself to others, stay in your own lane, focus on you. And the only person you should be comparing yourself is to you. Look at yourself in the last 10 years, look at what you've achieved, think about how far you have come and compare yourself to that. Don't compare yourself to anyone else because it's everyone's got totally different journeys, people have got totally different backgrounds. You focus on you. So my next tip to build confidence in 2022 is to look after yourself and your body and this doesn't mean that you need to look a certain way it doesn't mean that you need to go on a certain diet but i mean eating healthy food exercising regularly meditating reading self-development books listening to podcasts um, basically just looking after you and your self-care so that also could be even going away for a weekend with your partner or your friends or just having time to look after you now, health is really, really important because if you are eating a lot of processed foods, if you're eating junk food, if you're not exercising regularly, you will feel like crap because crap food makes you feel like crap. So you need to be eating healthy, nourishing foods. And remember, I'm not telling you that you need to lose weight, gain weight, change your body. I'm just telling you that you need to be healthy. Another thing that you could practice in 2022 is intuitive eating. So listen to your body when it's hungry and eat. Stop when you're full and don't eat when you're not hungry. They're really, really simple rules to follow and they're actually respecting your body. You're looking after it by doing that. And you'll probably find that actually you look quite good from intuitive eating because a lot of the time, the reason that we are overweight is because we're not intuitively eating. So if you listen to your body and it's hunger signals, you'll probably find that you'll actually look better for it. Um, but also just being healthy day to day, eating lots of fruit and vegetables, going to sleep early, having a digital detox before bed, having a good night routine and sleeping well. Sleep is so, so important. And obviously keeping the stress down in your day-to-day -day life as well. But yeah, really, really try 
and look after your body, look after yourself, make 2022 the year that you do that. My next tip for building confidence in 2022 is to be more grateful. So I want you every evening before you go to bed to write 10 things that you are grateful for. And you might think, oh, I don't know what to write, but there are so many things that you can be grateful for. If you're watching this video on YouTube, then I know that you have things to be grateful for because you've got the privilege of having Wi-Fi, of having either a computer, a phone, or an iPad to watch this on. So there are so many things that you can be grateful for. I'll just give you an example of things that I write on my list. So I write things like, I'm grateful for the money in my bank account. I'm grateful for my clients. I'm grateful for my flat, I'm grateful for my lovely bed, I'm grateful for the food that I've eaten today. If it's been nice weather, I normally write things like, I'm grateful for the fact that the sun came out today. And I always, always, always write on my grateful list, gratefulness that I'm grateful for my friends, my family, my boyfriend, and also my health, because until you lose your health, it's a bit like, you know, when you have a cold and you think, oh my God, why wasn't I grateful for when I was well? Or when you have toothache and you're like, oh, I just don't want to have toothache anymore. So be grateful for those days where you don't have any niggles, any pains, and you just feel good. Be grateful for that. Um, be grateful for the fact you can walk, you can see, you can hear, you have all of your senses. Write those things down on your grateful list. There's, there's people who've had, um, I don't really like talking about the word because I'll probably be censored, but they've had the, th <laughs> the thing going around the last two years and people have lost their senses of taste and smell. Um, for really, really long periods of time. So be grateful for that you have those things. So write your grateful list every night and I promise it will make you feel more happy and therefore more confident in your life because you realise how much you've got and you realise my life is good. I've actually got a lot compared to others. Um, even if you live with your parents and you haven't moved out yet, you're lucky that you've got your parents to support you and provide a home for you and they love you and take care of you. Like. Even that is just so, so important. A lot of people don't have that. They don't have a parent that cares about them or is there for them. Or if you have a really good boyfriend or girlfriend or friendship group, write all of those things down. Okay, and my next tip for 2022 is to learn to like your uniqueness. So there's gonna be things that are different about you from the typical beauty standards. Now, beauty standards change across the world. So if you're living in Japan, your beauty standard is going to be different to the one in America. Um, I think like America, Australia and the UK are very similar, the very westernised kind of beauty standard, but every country has a different beauty standard. Um, and if you don't fit into that beauty standard, you're going to feel like there's something wrong with you. But there's not. The reason that there's beauty standard is just to make money. And it's all to do with marketing, the economy, capitalism, all of that stuff. It's not that there's anything wrong with you. It's just a made up fair concept. It's made up that, you know, you've got to look this way to be acceptable in society or to be successful, whatever it might be. You don't, you don't at all. You can be proud of your uniqueness. The things that you call your flaws should be the things that are good about you. Embrace them. Those are really, really important. And you don't want to be like everyone else on Instagram or what everyone else looks like. You just do you and be who you want to be and embrace those flaws, but don't call them flaws. You should call them good points about you. They're the things that make you unique. They're the things that make you special. And they're the reasons why your friends are friends with you probably. So appreciate those unique aspects of yourself in your personality and your looks as well. Okay, my final tip for 2022 to build your confidence is to, so this is kind of in all in one, is to basically read more self-development books, listen to more self-development podcasts, and either get yourself a coach or a therapist, um, if you can afford to, of course. If you can't afford a therapist or a coach, definitely read more self-development books and listen to more self-development podcasts. Um, I have had therapy for nearly 11, well, I guess you could include the first couple of years when I was ill from anorexia. So actually, if you include that, I've had therapy for 13 years, but I've been with my therapist for 11 years now. Um, I only see her now a couple of times a year, but, and it's very expensive, but it is worth investing in yourself because People say, oh, I haven't got the money for therapy, I haven't got the money for a coach. They'll quite happily go to the pub, they'll quite happily spend money on alcohol, they'll quite happily spend money on having their nails done, 
what's more important than your mental health? There is absolutely nothing more than your mental health, more important than your mental health and your physical health, because without those two things, you can't go to the pub, you can't go and have your nails done, because you won't be here, because without your health, you won't be alive. And if your mental health isn't good, you won't want to go out, you won't want to do anything. If you work on yourself and work on who you are as a person, you will, you don't need to go out and have your lashes done, your nails done, all these things done, because you just love you for you and you will be more confident in yourself, you won't have these insecurities and your life will just be so much better. Like, your day-to-day -day life will be happier, um, you'll attract better people into your life, you'll have better relationships, your job will probably be better, you'll probably earn more money. People don't like investing money in themselves because they say I haven't got money, but they don't realise that when you invest the money in yourself, you probably will make more money long term because you're working on yourself as a person. So I really, really advise getting a therapist if not a life coach. As I've said at the beginning of this video, in about a couple of months I'm going to be fully a fully trained life coach, so I'm going to be specialising in cognitive behaviour therapy, neuro-linguistic programming, um, lots of different techniques that I can help you with your daily habits, your daily confidence, your anxiety, all these sort of things that I will be coached to do. Um, so I really, really advise investing in that. But if you really, really don't have the money, then look at reading books, listening to podcasts, you know, even if you just do 10 pages a day, you'll get through a book pretty quickly. So try and listen, listen to podcasts as well when you're walking, when you're cooking, whatever. Um, but yeah, those are my tips for 2022. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you're not subscribed already, please do click that subscribe button just below the video. I appreciate all of your support and any of you who are subscribed, thank you so much for all of your support. Any questions or feedback on the video, pop a comment below. And obviously if you want to work with me with fitness, um, fitness coaching, nutrition coaching, having your macros and calories done or buy a workout program or life coaching, like I said, my website is below, my email is below. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.